Everything in this world has stages, movement and change. Continents shift, trees grow from saplings to towering giants, nations grow from one family to generations, towns develop into cities, and seasons pass with each yearly cycle. As human beings, we mirror that pattern of growth and change. We have within us a microcosm of the macrocosm, as we are part of Allah's creation that He is continually sustaining and moving forward. In the Quran, Allah reminds us that He created us from dust, then from a drop of seed, then to a child, and then for some brings us into old age. So there is some growth and change that happens to us whether we are aware or not. And regardless of whether we make any effort or assert any willpower, this is the seen growth. But then there is unseen growth, the psychological, emotional, mental and spiritual development that can occur when we make effort and assert willpower. Certainly Allah can move us forward in our growth at any point as He chooses, but this is not guaranteed and we are called to strive toward our potential. This type of growth and maturity is less measurable than the developmental milestones such as age and responsibility. And yet it is arguably the most important aspect of our journey as human beings, as it's the part that is dependent on our intentions and actions and the transformation of our inner state, which affects our character. The work that we do within to change our state, to go from where we are to what we can become. By embracing the need for this inner growth, we accept that this life is in constant flux and we submit to the natural cycles of change, positioning ourselves to pursue true success in this life, not the success defined by external achievements and a notion that we can arrive at some goal in this life, but the success that is defined by our state of being, being in remembrance of Allah. This is not a station that we arrive at, but a continual development of our soul with endless potential for growth. This path involves taking account of ourselves and constantly assessing our current state so we can be equipped to make changes and course correct along the way. There are stages that our soul can develop through, not necessarily linear like our biological development, we can advance forward to another station within our soul's growth and then find ourselves back stuck at a lower stage of development. It is dependent on our renewed striving and our staying diligent in our pursuit in this path. But this takes work and practice in order to be able to do this. And sometimes we have a hard time making changes in the moment when we aren't present with ourselves and we haven't disciplined ourselves to go against our tendencies that throw us off course. This is how we can become stuck and stagnant, not moving forward and wind up repeating the same patterns and experiencing the same challenges over and over again. We've all experienced challenges in recent times and we are called to respond in a way that will determine where we go from here. Will we stay stagnant, stuck in this loop of familiar patterns, or will we use this as an opportunity to reflect on our state of being and strive to bring awareness to what we need to change within? We can take this opportunity to ask ourselves what stage of development is my soul in in this moment? And where might I be stuck? What do I need to do to take account of and increase my self-awareness, take self-responsibility and take action that will advance me in my own psychological and spiritual development? 
So to truly be successful in this journey, we must embrace the perspective that sees challenges as opportunities for growth and look within to see what needs purifying to transform as a result of our walking the path.